again, and welcome to Dank Memes from Site19, where I review memes from the subreddit devoted to Dank Memes from Site19. Let's get started. SCP-048 entries that still exist? Zero. Number of D-Class terminated every month? Zero. Number of times you were right about an SCP? Zero. You know, this uh, image here drives home one particular piece of... <laughs> Uh, information that I hadn't really thought of before, and that's that Sumerian looks really, really disappointed in whatever it is he's looking at. Like, like he's got that far off, god damn, it's been one of those years sort of look on his face. I'm a grown man. I am a big adult. I can do this. Fall. <laughs> uh, yes, the mimetic kill agent. I think that if the SCP Foundation database was real and somehow being accessed by civilians, uh, I think the really important and scary thing is not, oh my god, is this real? The real question you should be asking yourself is, how come the memetic kill agent didn't kill you? How incompetent are these people? <laughs> when you blind and deafen yourself so Samarian can't tell you you're wrong. Yeah, this is big brain time. Oh, I love these memes where uh, that are about me, because, well, why wouldn't I? <laughs> hey, it's another one. There is no monthly termination. With no canon, some stories exist where monthly termination occurs. You are wrong. You know, that's not strictly speaking incorrect. There are canons that exist where monthly termination is a thing that really happens. They just don't line up with the real world. And when you rob the realism from the SCP Foundation, well... Uh, that's a bit of a complex problem. I saw this and it just wants me. I always want to take every opportunity I can to drive this point home because the wiki mods and the wiki administration really don't care to make this distinction because honestly, the people that, the people that make this mistake are the kind of people who definitely should go through the green light and critique process, but you do not have to. You, there's there's this like weird thought of people like I, I would do the I would post an SCP but I can't get my idea greenlit and I'm like what's that got to do with anything like you should probably go through the critique process but you don't have to you can just post to the wiki once you've registered that and registering is its own little bit of trouble there are barriers to doing things and there are misconceptions that act as barriers to doing things on the wiki and the wiki administration is perfectly fine with you being confused about that because if you can't figure that out they figure you probably don't need to be posting to the wiki <laughs> But I do feel like there's probably a good chance that, you know, every once in a while, maybe once a year, they miss out on a really good article because somebody doesn't know how the system works. <laughs> I, I left this one in. I saw this one. I was like, I really liked it. Another fucking herder, you're wrong, Sumerian meme. Actual SCP memes. Meme snobbery. <laughs> but don't worry. You, you. You created a meme about me, so, so I'm going to put it in. I I, I think the, uh, the title for the post was something along the lines of, No hate, but you guys are too desperate to get into uh, Sumerian's videos. <laughs> the problem is, is you can't make that argument without using my name, and once you do that, it's pretty much an assurance that you're going to get in my videos. <laughs> so it kind of just goes circular on you. Although I'd like to talk a bit about SCP memes right now. I'll instead be using this as an opportunity to talk about myself. Because that's the most interesting topic I know about. Let's be real here. I think that the D-Class get terminated every month. No, you're weird and different and your differences are bad. <laughs> you know, people uh, get on, like, they... There are things that I'm passionate about, but D-Class getting terminated every month is not one of them. Uh, I mean, I don't believe that D-Class get terminated every month in most reasonable, realistic canons, but that's neither here nor there on this particular point. Ah, <laughs> uh, may the sun ever set on the British Empire. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite pieces of work that I've done recently. And it's interesting, I was thinking back about, uh, like, my most, my favorite works in the last couple of years, and... Uh, most of them are either silly kind of lol foundation things with Sumerian, Clef, and Bright, or they're um, things that I was asked to write, you know, given a prompt and told to write. So, it, I don't know, liking the stuff that you're, that you didn't originate, you know, like, you wrote this thing, but you didn't come up with the ideas behind it, I don't know, 
there's some fun to that. I think uh, the uh, two favorite things I've written in the past year, off the top of my head, the problem is when you write as much as you do, it becomes difficult to remember the individual. I don't even remember individual SCP numbers for my SCPs anymore because I got like 40 or 50. It's hard to remember 40 or 50 individual numbers. Tales are even worse. So like in the last year, I think, I'm, I think I've written just in the last year like 24 or 25 tales. Uh, so <laughs> remembering individual ones is hard. But my favorites that I can think of was the one I did for Christmas last year. Uh, which was a Broken God story, which was as a Christmas exchange. I didn't want to write about the Broken God. I still don't want to write about the Broken God. But somebody asked for, the person I was assigned to, asked for a story about either SNC Plastics or the Broken God. So I wrote about Broken God. And then uh, the stuff I did for SCP Illustrated this year, uh, almost all of it, I think. I'm pretty proud of my, Well, I'm pretty proud of most of it. Every once in a while, I look at one of them, and I'm like, oh, I could, that could have been better. Which is a good instinct to have, but hey, you remember that meme that was talking about how I usually just turn these into opportunities to talk about myself? Yeah, that guy knows what's up. See, and that's the reason why I pick memes that... I, well, the problem is, is that when I first started uh, doing the <laughs> the meme uh, videos, I just looked at them and kind of laughed and like maybe gave a tiny amount of commentary about the stuff I know about the SCPs. Uh, but I was, d I was told and... From research and information I, I've gleaned from looking at other way other people do it, it is important to talk about the things you know. And the things I know are the things I've written, written, or, uh, read, or dealt with, like, uh, contributed to in some way. So, like, the next one here, you know, I had to do it to Ham. I, I picked it because I voiced Dr. Ham in the SCP-049, uh, Actual SCP article on the wiki. I'm, which you may not be able to tell. You you pay. You know, oh, yeah. hello. My name is Doctor Raymond Ham. That's the the Doctor Ham voice, but it's a uh, it's a little bit. I I'm just doing it off the cuff right now. But yeah, that's Doctor Ham. I, I do Doctor Ham. So I see this and I'm like, ah, gotta put that in there because I can talk about Doctor Ham. Ah, poor Doctor Ham. Finally, finally figured out what he was going to do with his life, and suddenly he's dead. I included this one simply because I thought it was particularly clever. Roses are red, boots are for walking. Ronald Reagan cut up while talking. Every time I see Secret Laboratory, I think, I think the exact same thing. Secret Laboratory. <laughs> I wonder what the Secret Laboratory would be like. There needs to be... Oh my god, there needs to be an SCP on the wiki. Huh. Oh my god. Like, that could be a good dash. J... You could main list it, but there need to be actually something anomalous about it. But the Dash J concept that just popped into my head when I was looking at this is, like, there's some really nice, really clean, or really out-of-the-way, isolated bathroom that gets classified as an SCP object by some researcher or some head of some department or something like that, just so no one else will use it. <laughs> Uh, you could main list it if you could create a reason why that was actually anomalous, but yeah, that, that'd be a fun, that'd be a fun little dash J somebody could do. Oh yeah, someone told me about this. It's a, <laughs> you're wrong about monthly D-class termination, baka. Again, this is not what I'm passionate about. You guys want to know what I'm passionate about? It's about, since it's unnecessary censorship in SCP articles. My God, do I hate that. That you can get me talking about forever. D-class termination is something that's like, I, I mean, because it's not even particularly uh, controversial as a, at least with the censorship, people are like, well, you know, there's reasons to do it. And I'll be like, no, there isn't. And we'll have all this long arguments about it. Monthly D-class termination is impossible in the real world. P end of story. Now you can include certain things like cloning or, uh, you know, like I, I mentioned in my videos is like, there are anomalous ways to make it work, but then you have to include that as your kind of concept behind it. And mm, it kind of changes what D-class are, by the way, if they're uh, clones. Like, what does it matter if they die? Like, there's, you know, a D-class dying is sort of a, a, especially in early SCP articles, is supposed to be like a moment. Like, it, like this is when shit gets serious. <laughs> I say I'm not willing to rant about this, but here we go. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like, if you change them into these dis literally disposable people and not, you know, the idea of them being normal people who are turned into disposable people, but if they were born disposable, like, 
then when they die, it's just who cares, right? And the idea has always been that, like, the foundation, the, the usage of D-class in stories, especially the early stories, was uh, the foundation is bad because they treat D-class terminations as though they're trash. But if they're clones or some other anomalous production uh, method comes along and they literally were created just to be destroyed, uh, th- then there's still some evil in there, but it loses a lot of its oomph. Think about that. You take actual people, some guy who, you know, he was born in uh, Wisconsin, he he grew up, he went to college, he flunked out, Uh, he had a high school sweetheart who he married, Uh, they got a divorce after having two kids, he's failed on his child support twice, he robs a bank with his friend, his friend shoots somebody, and he goes to jail for life, or I don't know if Wisconsin has a death penalty, they might or they might not, but he goes to jail for life because his, you know, a murder... committed in the commission of a felony, even if you didn't commit the murder, is treated as though you did commit the murder. So he goes to jail for life, and then the foundation decides they're going to give him, you know, a a deal. You work for us for a month, and then we'll let you go. And the guy's thinking, well, you know what? I didn't do anything really all that wrong. And that's questionable morally, but I didn't do anything that wrong. You know, I'm going to try and do my best and blah, 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 blah. And this is a somewhat sympathetic figure. You know, he's, he's had a tough lot in life. He's got kids. He's got a family. He would like to be able to go back and support them. And then the foundation just murders him at the end of a month. That has impact. Or, or even if that's not the case, like he dies in, you know, the course of his duties, that has impact because that is a real person and a real character as opposed to. Uh, that dude was born yesterday in a clone vat, implanted with some fake, very shallow memories, because there's no reason to really bother giving him deep uh, backstory. <laughs> and then we, uh, we, we shot him the next day. <laughs> uh, those are two different stories. <laughs> those are two different things. Anyway, that was a long rant about me, and that started off with me saying I don't want to rant about uh, D class, but here we are. Disappointing, you've allowed yourself to be defined by a single genre. Articles where the foundation is the antagonist. This is fair. This is super fair. <laughs> Something. Well, it's it's no longer it's no longer the truth. It was definitely the truth for maybe the first six months to a year, but very slowly it started to become something different. When I was doing uh, the You're Wrong About Santa Claus thing, and I, I talked about Sim City, it's literally the first thing that popped into my mind was this as a meme, and I'm glad someone eventually did it. The You're Wrong Entertainment System. <laughs> I, I laughed so hard when I saw this the first time. Kill this Nazi prick. SCP Foundation exists to contain and protect the world from anomalies while avoiding all unrelated business. Dr. Bright, Dr. Samarian, and Dr. Cliff. Kill this Nazi prick! (laughs) Oh, man. (coughs) Oh, that's not healthy. But yeah, I saw this and I'm, I'm still laughing at it. God damn. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty memes are awesome. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. And if you pledge over $5, you can get yourself. But you got to pledge by the end of the first. So, you know. Do it. Thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday. Also, you really need to subscribe, George.